Okay, guys, that's the three pieces cut out. I know I probably took longer than was necessary, but I really didn't want to tear my tissue the first time until I see if it fits, and then I can put it on a heavier paper cardstock kind of a thing so I have a permanent pattern. I'm going to change the thread in my serger and I'll get started serging. Okay guys, I'm going to sew the shoulder seams together and right now I don't have any clear elastic. So I think I will add clear elastic at a later date. Right now, let's just get these shoulder seams done. Did I lose you? Here we go. Last sleeve. Last sleeve. Making sure you're not cutting something that you shouldn't be. While we're here, we're going to sew down the sides. I don't have my cover stitch out to do the hems, but I'll do that later too. Let's just see what happens with this. Guys, I'm going to try it on and I'll be right back. Okay, I am going to add some fold over elastic on the neck. So let's measure the neck edge roughly, quickly because I'm lazy. So I'll double that. And I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. My battery died. I apologize for that. Let's see. I had, I don't know how far I got, but I sewed my elastic together, then I sectioned it into quarters, half to the front, and then those two meeting, getting middle, and middle. So now we have... Our back has this little snip in it, so that is where we're going to put our seam. And let's 
easy symbol and it's folding it over. <laughs> Hence the name, right? Of course this fabric is so stretchy that nothing seems to be going my way. Is the finished shirt um, I have not pressed it this is my first attempt at fold over elastic for a finished edge along the neckline and to be quick I put it along the cuffs as well um, yeah and the and the hem I surged because as I said, this is a wearable muslin, and um, when I make this again, I will probably add a couple of inches in length because I like my shirts to be a little bit longer. But I'm going to push you back a little bit <clears throat> so that you can see the front of it and the back of it on me. So here we go. All right, let's see if I can't show you. Um, I love the sleeve. The sleeve length is perfect for me. This is my first time using silhouette patterns. This was the 195 sweater set. Obviously the shirt with long sleeves. It has the French dart which runs from here down to the side, which I love. The sleeve fits well. I did absolutely no altering of the pattern. And I really love it. I can see doing this, obviously, I, you know, maybe if somebody out there sews and can tell me, what do you think of the fit? Yes, large busted. Nothing I can do about that right now. It's a 36 double D. You know, I'm trying to do that, but this is the shirt. I like the way that it fits on the neck. So. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I enjoyed making this pattern. This is, as I said, my first time using this super slinky um, workout fabric. Lycra, just a four-way stretch. Um, and I was a little bit tentative, but the pattern I love, um, I'll get better with the fold over elastic and I will get better using fabrics like these because they're just so comfortable and they're so much fun. In fact, my husband said to me this morning, if I couldn't make him, 
if I couldn't make him a shirt like this, you know, obviously without this and, and a masculine. And I said, well, I don't have a pattern for you. And he said, well, just use the pattern that you have. And I was like, well, you just don't need bust darts. So, anyway, yeah, let me know what you think of it. I love it. I love the way everything fits about it. And, and Peggy Sagers always says about her patterns is that they fit really well and just give them a try. And uh, very happy. This will be one of many. I will talk to you in another video.